Welcome back, eSIM Studio. So, I made a video yesterday in regards to the Google Pixel series. I have the obviously the Pixel 9 Pro XL, but the Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1 was released yesterday in the middle of Google I.O. And I went ahead, down, immediately downloaded it, installed it. That was about noon yesterday, and throughout the afternoon, probably to 5 or 6, man, it was running great. Good battery life, uh, no issues whatsoever. And then nighttime came, <laughs> and this morning, more issues. So there are a number uh, of bugs and or issues on this version of beta software. Um, I had a couple of bugs on the previous version. No, two versions ago, um, it was running really, really smooth, no issues whatsoever. The previous version was released and had a minor bug or two. This version was released, Android 16 QPR1 Beta 1, and now it seems like it has more bugs. So I want to, I know I commented under my video yesterday, a couple of people asked me about battery life and if there are any bugs, and I said, Nothing, nothing here. Everything's so far so good. Uh, yeah, battery life is great. And I kind of, not necessarily, well, yeah, I guess I want to retract those statements because now I'm having issues. So, oh, let me run you through. Let me see if I got a couple of them here. Um, so, if you go to the home screen, actually, let's check out the battery life first. Let's go to battery. Now, I have plugged this in. Let's see. This is today. Here's yesterday. That was from 5 a.m. Full battery, 5 a.m. It lasted 2 p.m. And I charged it right at about 40%. Charged it back up to what? Uh, 80, 85%, kind of charge it off and on, really wasn't trying to test the battery today, um, started the day with about 60% and plugged it in, so I actually need to do a full charge and full discharge, um, to really test the battery, I'll probably do that tomorrow, but, um, screen on time for Wednesday, 8 hours, and we're at, uh, what is it, 4.43 p.m., Let's go back to yesterday and look at the screen on time, 11 hours. It's not bad, right? I don't think that's the issue. Of course, I watch a ton of YouTube, so that's actually pretty good. But again, I did charge it a couple times. So um, I'll do a full battery test tomorrow. I'll, I'll start the day with the full charge, and then we'll see where we're at at the end of the day. So I'll upload a video in regards to that, a, a day in the life, right, battery usage. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So... Here's the home screen now. Check this out. So when you go to your recents menu, look at this. See that background? See that? See the mountain in the mountain sun? The AI generated uh, wallpaper. But look, it's supposed to flow with the home screen. It's staying in place. Now, if you go to swipe it away, again, stays in place. So that need that's one bug. Not a real big issue, but it is what it is. Last night. Um, was having issues in regards to um, last night the phone, see, it froze up. It won't, I'm swiping home and nothing is happening. It froze in place last night and no controls whatsoever on your home screen. Well, there I went, went to that app, but it froze in place. You saw I was trying to swipe it home. Last night it would freeze, just lock up on me. And the only way I could... Get it usable again is to just restart it again, right? So what I did was last night I simply restarted the device and once I once it booted back up into the uh, software, everything was fine, right? And it would last for about a couple hours and do the same thing. So I've had to reboot it a number of times between probably in the last 12 to 16 hours. Um... Yeah, there's also, there's a couple things you can do to try to combat some of these bugs, right? Uh, beta program. There's a couple of things you can do to combat this. Now, you can clear the cache. Now, I did an app review on SD made. Oh, here's another thing. When I go to YouTube, check this out. 
So when I go to YouTube and let's say I want to comment on a video, right? Watch this. So I go to a, a live stream and let's say I want to comment here in the live stream. So watch this. So here's the text field. Oh, now it works. Yesterday, the text field right here where my icon is and where you type was missing. So you could type, but you couldn't see what you were typing. Now it's back. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh yeah, SD made. So if you want to combat, if you want to try and there's SD made SE, this app right here. Download this one. This clears cache. It, could, it can clear data if you want it to, which might not be a bad idea. A clean install of Android 16. And here's the thing. When you're bringing over all your apps, all your app data, your storage, your cache, when you bring that over into a new build of, of or excuse me, into a new beta build of Android, that could cause issues. If you just installed Android, this Android 16, QPR1, beta 1, a clean install, you might not have these issues. Uh, these may be some interference that some of this app data is having with the new version of Android. Could be possible, but let's go ahead and open this up. Now, here's SDMade SE. So what this does is it pulls, you can set it up, but it pulls data that can be cleaned, uh, any apps that app data that's left over from an uninstalled app, it'll scan and pull and delete that. System cleaner, it'll pull a random cache you have here and we'll delete that. App cleaner, as you can tell, it does it automatically once you set it up like I have done, but it force closes at the very end. Don't know why. Uh, probably, probably because it's not optimized yet for this new version of Android. And look, when you install beta, that's one of the risks you take. It's not unusable. Like you can still use it. There's a couple of hurdles you run into, but the, the easiest way to combat the issues you have is just restart your phone. Um, typically again, once I've run into issues and I'll restart my phone, it's typically good for another couple hours and then every now and then after the second or third hour, I'll see a bug or two pop up. Um, uh, so I can deal with it for most, uh, but when obviously when the operating system becomes inoperable, meaning like when you your recents doesn't work or any touch input doesn't work, then that's obviously you'll need to restart your device. But um, not as not as a, a clean version of beta as I had hoped. Again, I I've usually typically had pretty good luck with the beta versions don't didn't really have any major issues this is the first time i can remember maybe in about a year that i've had multiple multiple bugs and or issues that kind of kind of bug me no pun intended um there is there's an easy fix again just simply restart your phone and they seem to go away so just a kind of a pain in the butt but if you are wondering if you should install this i would wait Wait for the next version. Well, actually, I think we should have the stable version of Android 16 out here uh, next month. So uh, now when the stable version of Android 16 comes in June, Google will give us all Pixel users the option. If you're running the beta version, if you're running on beta software, Google will give us the version uh, the option to unenroll out of the beta program without wiping your data, meaning go from a, your beta software, roll it into stock Android 16 uh, and you'll just be on the stable version or if you don't unenroll and you just do nothing and stay in the beta version then you will stay in the beta version however once that window closes if you choose to unenroll out of beta say and I think that I think it's open for about maybe a few weeks to a month let's say um, let's say in July after the stable build has already been released and that, that that window has been expired where you can unenroll and still save your data. Once that time comes and that window is passed and you want to leave the beta program, uh, once you do, your whole phone will be wiped, meaning they're going to wipe all your data, all your apps will be gone, pictures, all your system settings, everything will be gone. It will be just like a brand new device, like you're opening it up, unboxing it for the first time. Uh, then that can be a pain in the ass because you have to download it each and every app. You can restore your backup, but um, uh, you can do that. But it, it's just a hassle, right? Because it'll wipe everything. But um, typically, if you're having problems, I what I'm going to do is 
since I if I did not have any issues whatsoever, there's been times in the past where I'll just stay in the beta program and just roll on through and just continually stay in the beta program. However, oh, there we go. However, I think since I am having bugs this time around, I'm going to unenroll the beta and I'm going to go into the stable build. I'm going to let a beta version uh, pass, right? Maybe a month or two of updates, of beta updates, and then I'll re-enroll into the beta program and continue that way. But here's an issue that happened to me last night over and over. Um, it could not finish the uh, cache wipe because... Uh, Obviously, the app failed, right? Force closed. And it's probably due to the beta. Um, and look, there's more bugs this time because it was a more of an overhaul of the operating system, right? If you if you get a beta update, you update your phone, you restart it, and it basically looks the same. No major uh, features were added or anything. And it visually looks the same as the previous version. You're not going to have many bugs. But they changed so many things on this Material 3 um update that i i'm assuming that's why there are more bugs than usual just because in the code there's a big change in code in how this device operates looks and feels they did change quite a bit uh so i'm assuming that's why we're having bugs but have no fear they will fix it it's just going to take a month or two that's the only downside but um there is a way to wipe cache so let me show you manually see look the type the keyboard's supposed to pop up it hadn't popped up so you got to type here uh, press here and then it will pop up so um let's do um um manually wipe cache pixel no i want to do it in Fast boot mode. Wipe cache partition. No, I don't want to do that. I want to go to fast boot. I can't remember the key. I'm having a brain fart. I can't remember the key combos. Wipe cache. Wipe cache partition pixel. Fast boot moon. But boot the device into fast boot mode and then... No, I don't want to do that. I guess I could. So here's one way. Now that requires a computer. And let's see. I guess I could do that. But what about the key? What about this right here? Okay, I found what I was looking for. Sorry about that. So, uh, it's not in fast boot mode. It's wiping the cache partition uh, in recovery mode. Sorry, I had a brain fart. So, this is how you can do it manually. If you find another app like SD Made that will wipe your uh, the cache of each and every device, that normally takes you know quite a while, maybe five to seven minutes, depending on how many apps you have. This is a quick way to do it all at once without having to go eat through each and every app. Oh, you simply search wipe cache partition in recovery mode pixel. And it tells you first power off the device, then hold down the power and volume down button. So you're going to hold the power and volume down at the same time while, when it's off. And then when you see the Google logo, release the power button, but still hold the volume down. You'll enter recovery mode, then use the volume buttons to navigate to wipe cache partition. And press the power button to select it. Confirm the choice by yes. So let's go ahead and try that. And then we will give it a try. I'll just do it right now and we'll see. And I'll, I'll make a video tomorrow and let you know if that uh, helped it at all. So it's currently powered off. I felt the vibration. And let's do that. So we're going to press and hold the volume down and power buttons while it, when it's off. When you see the Google logo, you're going to let go of the power but still hold this. And then it'll boot into recovery. So let's give it a try. Well, that didn't work, did it? Let's go to recovery mode.
you can go up and down with the volume up and volume down. You can control it. Uh-oh. And then that didn't work. So I'm going to mess with it here, but you get the point. I'm going to have to restart it and redo it a couple times. I'll probably pause this video, and then when I get it, I will come back. Okay, I just did it. So I just rebooted it and cleared the cache. So follow those instructions. It just takes good timing on the when you let go of the... As uh, soon as you see it light up, you got to let go of the power button. I think I waited half a second too long, and it, and it went... Uh, um, into fast boot mode, you need to get into recovery mode. But anyways, you can Google that and figure it out. But if you got any questions, I can uh, help you out. Hit me up in the comments. But I am going to test this out now that I cleared cache. And I will uh, do a battery test tomorrow. So I'll update you on how this is working tomorrow in a video uploaded in the afternoon. And uh, I'll charge it to 100 in the morning when I wake up. And I won't plug it in until... Right about it's almost dead. We'll see what the battery life is like. but um, And I'll let you know if I still have any of those bugs. But uh, appreciate the time. If you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments. And I'll check you out tomorrow. Peace.